Hi guys, today is May 12th, 2021. I'd like to answer a few questions regarding how I train my calves, my core, and my grip. Um, I like to use this exercise to get at all three of those areas. I call it a full body curl. It's basically a Romanian deadlift with emphasis on maintaining a tippy toe in your base. As you stand up and transition into the curl with a tall chest, you must keep your heels off the floor while maintaining your base over the ball of the big toe and the number two toe. And as you can see, I am struggling with that. So this is the next set. My biceps are gone, but I still want to use or work the calf musculature. So I'm going to go into a tippy toe row. Um, the, Walkway I'm standing on is a 3% grade. So standing up slope into this walkway allows me to exaggerate the plantar flexion and the activation of the calves a little bit more. It also limits my ability on the row or my range of motion. So now I'm flat footed, my calves are tired, so I'm not gonna do that anymore. Standing down slope of the 3% grade, I'm able to get a longer reach and stretch into the lats as I row. This is a 100 pound barbell. And then transitioning into a curl. If you have not combined the uh, bent over row or the Romanian deadlift with the curl, give it a try. It is a much more powerful curl yet you can maintain a high degree of strictness to the movement. It's, uh, but it's just very compound and it allows you to use two functions of the arm flexors and the lats for that matter. So this is uh, back down to an 80 pound barbell going down slope. Um, the blue things on the barbell, they are called fat grips with a Z. Uh, they expand the diameter of the barbell to just over two inches. That um, added fatness to the bar obviously makes it a little more challenging to hold on to, but I find that attaching them on pulling, move, pulling movements like this row and the curl that's gonna follow gives me a much stronger activation of all the musculature that is upstream that helps me to move this load. So, all right. And then another angle, a hundred pound bar going up slope. I like to change the angle, um, just the, uh, what do you call it? Dorsiflexion in this case of my ankles going up slope allows me to use different parts of the legs, the core, everything. It just adds a little bit of variety. I appreciate you guys watching. Much aloha to all of you. Good night. Bye-bye.